One. One, two. Check me out right here, yo. Mike the Truth Jackson here with another edition of Fighters Talk. I'm joined today by AJ Hoffman. Hello. Man, we haven't seen you in a while. What's been going on? Uh, I'm busy. You busy on what? Uh, trying to not get not get beat up. That's the goal. <laughs> so you're competing on the uh, Lake Sandwich Series 13, which takes place at the Arena Theater, uh, August 31st, Houston, Texas. Uh, you're taking on self-proclaimed, self self-name. People's retard yeah. and Tim Lashley. Uh, what made you take the fight with him? Because I know he's been actually calling you out for quite some time. Um, what made you finally say, okay, I'll, I'll go ahead and go through with it? Um, yeah, he's been wanting to fight me for a long time, and I, I didn't really want to fight him because I don't think he's good. And I wanted a fight that was against someone better than my last opponent, and I don't know if this guy is. Colin was, had said that Tim had been begging for the fight, so I said, just do it, let's just do it, and we'll, uh, we'll go from there. So that's how, I, that's how it happened. It's actually been a, a quite some time since you've been in the cage. Uh, why the, the long delay and the long period between fights? Uh, I was going to fight last, last July, so a, a little over a year ago. Uh, my last fight was in March. And then uh, when I was in that second flight camp, I blew my knee out. I tore my, my ACL, MCL, LCL, and meniscus. And uh, I ended up with it. I, didn't have, I couldn't have surgery. It was too swollen to have surgery until October. And um, it, they, they told me I probably wouldn't be able to fight for another, or even train for 10 to 12 months. I mean, it's, a, it's a crappy injury. I wouldn't wish it on anybody. But uh, when it healed up right, it's, it's good to go now. So. You take it on Tim. Uh, how do you feel about the matchup itself? Um, it's tough to say. I, I mean, I feel like I, I feel like my ground game is, is going to be better than his. Um, I, he's a very wild striker. I know he's strong, and I'm going to respect his power. But from what I've seen on him, he, he's he's not very fast. Um, he's just throwing big haymakers, and if I can avoid those, I, I don't really see there being much problem. And if, if worse comes to worse, I feel like I, I can take the fight down and, and finish it there anytime I want. But I, I want to stand. I want to I uh, work the hands that I've been working on with. Um, Makako's been working with me, and Chase Petrie at Petrie MMA has been working with me on my hands, and uh, I, I feel like that's gotten to be a strength for me, where I, it's something I, I didn't really have in my last fight. It was more a, a, that, that was a fight where I was just relying almost exclusively on my jiu-jitsu. I don't think I have to do that this time. Uh, we know you, you're full-time. This is just obviously a hobby of yours. Uh, you're full-time profession. Uh, you have your own show on ESPN Radio. Uh, you got the first one out of the way. Why do it again? The fight? Yeah, why fight again? I mean, you, you can cross off your bucket list that you had at least one MMA fight. Why, why a second? It's fun. I mean, I... I I don't really have a good reason for it. I, I don't ever plan on fighting professionally. Um, I, I, you know, you knew me before I started training. I was heavy. I, I was I was pushing 300 pounds at one point, and um, you know, training MMA, tra training jujitsu, all that stuff is kind of I, I got all the weight off that way. Uh, and it's it's a high to get in there and, and fight. That it really is, is man. Yeah. It's something that if you haven't done it, you can't. I can't really explain it to someone who hasn't done it, but it is a it's a it's a rush to get in there and actually actually do it. So I just I miss that that competition. I want to do it one more time. I, this might be my last fight. I don't know. I, I kind of going fight by fight just to see how it goes. I'm getting old, but uh, for now it's just fun, and I, I just want to go out there and prove it to myself that I can keep doing it. You know, you have a lot of listeners, a lot of callers, uh, because you're in the sports world. You have a lot of fans that. You know, they like to analyze sports and, you know, so a lot of times you have the, the, the couch athlete, so to speak. Uh, do you think this gives you a little bit more credibility, especially being an analyst, that you say you can compete in the sport now that you're having conversations with other fans? I don't think so. I mean, I, I, I maybe. I, I don't think that's the case, though. I mean, I, I played every sport under the sun growing up, and except for this one, and now I'm doing this one. But, I, you know, I, I don't think that 
me fighting makes me any more or less of a radio host. I don't think I was a, a more credible source on MMA before than I am now. Uh, maybe some people do. You know, you get you get that a lot from the people who will say, well, until you've done it, you, you don't really know what it's like. Right. And now I, I can say I've done it. But uh, I, I don't think it's, I don't think, I don't think my understanding of the sport is, is any greater than it was before. Uh, you're less than two weeks away. Uh, how do you feel about the fight? I feel real good. Uh, I just got a couple days away. I went up to, to Oregon and to Portland and Seattle with my, my family and kind of recharged my batteries a little bit. Um, you know, I it's, it's a lot for me to, to make 185 pounds. And I walk around at about 225 when I'm not in a fight camp, so it's a it's a it's rough to get down to a, a comfortable weight. Right. And I, I just needed a few days away from from training, from eating rabbit food. Uh, it, it felt really good to go up there and, and recharge my batteries a little bit. And I'm gonna be back here and finish up these these last two and a half weeks and be ready to go on the 31st. So anybody you want to thank before we get out of here? Yeah, I got a whole uh, list of sponsors. Of course, my, my gym's gold team. Hey! Uh, and Jace Petrie MMA. Uh, I want to thank my manager, P3, Reagan McDaniel. Burger Guys, Vet Sports, Muscle Maker Grill, uh, the Kidney Health Center, El Tiempo Cantino, Waldrop Heating and Cooling, Rips Grill, Tubalo's Bar and Grill, uh, TexasMilitaryRelocators.com, Dapples, and ESPN Radio, 97.5. Anything to Tim Lashley before you got here? I'm, I'm not gonna talk. I, I, he'll he'll find out on August 31st.